Hello everyone. So welcome to the tutorial two. So in the last tutorial, we discussed about how you can access the graph data using network X library. So today in this tutorial, we are going to talk about classification of graph data using machine learning algorithm and that will be based on graph features. So the important thing to know here is like uh, we are going to do the classification, but we are not going to use the graph embeddings. Instead, we are going to use simple graph features. So uh, those are uh, some features uh, we discussed in the last tutorial also. And in this tutorial also, we will discuss uh, like what are the features we are going to consider in this case in order to do the classification task. Okay. So, okay, so first thing first, we have to import some important libraries. So, first we'll import NumPy, Pandas, and NetworkX. So, import NetworkX, NetworkX as NX. So, again, in this tutorial, I'm just considering that the Karate Krab graph, graph uh, in the last tutorial, I just gave a very brief intro about this uh, Karate Krab graph. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to consider that Karate Club graph example only. So you can uh, use like different different graphs in the network X library itself. There are four or five graphs as example are available. So you can use any one of them. So okay, so first I'll import this Karate Club graph. So I'm importing under this uh, kg, kg is equals to nx dot Karate Club graph. So by this statement, it will import the Karate Club graph under the variable kg. So the whole Karate Club graph data is basically divided into two classes, like all the 33 nodes available in this data are divided into two classes. So one class is Mr. High and other is Officer. So in order to know what are those class and all the nodes belongs to which class, so by using this statement, you can find out. Example, karate labels is equals to nx dot get node attributes. So uh, this will help you to get all the node attributes uh, of this karate club graph and in this club. So karate club labels, so this output basically is telling you like uh, all the nodes from 0 to 33 all the 34 nodes so every node belongs to one class for example this node 0 belongs to class mr high and similarly node 1 belongs to this class and so on so forth okay so the next thing what i'm doing is getting the degree of every node of the graph so this is very simple nx dot degree and you just pass the graph of which you wanted to know the degree. So as you can see, this uh, is giving you the output of degree of each and every node available in the graph. So node zero has degree 16, node one has degree nine, nodes two has degree 10 and so on. Similarly, all the degree of all the degree of all the nodes are printed here. So these are some features of the graph what we are going to use in this task in order to build our data frame and after that do the classification. So some of the features like clustering coefficient, degree centrality, closeness centrality, betweenness centrality, eigenvector centrality, page ranks, and hubs and authority. So in class we have discussed about almost everything. So these are the things we are going to use as a feature. So first thing first, we have to extract all these features from the graph. So uh, in this section, I am extracting all the features one by one. For example, clustering coefficient. So first I'm using NX dot clustering. And this is the graph, kg is the graph variable name. This we are passing inside that. So it will basically give you all the clustering coefficient of all the nodes. Similarly, for the degree centrality, nx dot degree centrality, so it will give you the degree centrality of each and every node. Uh, similarly, the closeness centrality, betweenness, and eigenvector centrality. So in the last tutorial, we have discussed all these things, like how you can find out different different centrality and all these different uh, features. So uh, this page rank is a new feature. So 
in order to get the page rank of uh, each and every node so nx dot page rank and we just passed the graph so it will give you the page rank similarly we want to find out hubs and authorities so hubs and authorities are basically uh, provided by the network network x from this nx dot hits so if you wanted to check like how these things looks like so you can print any of these for example uh, I wanted, let's see how this page rank looks like. So if I will do print, so this will basically give you the dictionary as an output. So the page zero, uh, the node zero has a page rank this, one has a page rank of this. Similarly, all the nodes have, have some page rank and uh, this is given like this. Similarly, if you wanted to print anything else, let's say I want to print hub, so you just, you can print all the hub. So every output will be like this in the form of text entry. So the key is your node and corresponding, each node has a value. So similarly, you can check out for you no know, centrality also, all the centralities and clustering coefficient as well. So now what we are going to do, just some, you know, uh, data manipulation kind of thing. For example, these all things, what we are getting, we are getting uh, all the outputs as dictionary. So first we will convert it into a list so that it will be uh, very easy to, uh, you know, accumulate all the features together and after that convert it into a data frame. So in order to, convert all the degrees so this is the uh, this is the variable for degree we are converting uh, storing all those degrees from from the dictionary dot value so basically it will take out all the values corresponding to every key and the keys are nothing but the node nodes of the graph so this degrees will store all the degrees of every node from the graph and in this data what i am doing i am storing uh, using list comprehension and by using that i am running a loop for all the variable for example clustering coefficient degree centrality closeness centrality and betweenness centrality eigenvalue page rank hubs and authorities so i am iterating through all all those things uh, using for loop and we will get all the values and store as a list so and after that in this data i'm just appending degrees and what are the labels labels are nothing but these uh all these club labels what we have got here so at the end what i will do i will append all the uh, values of all the labels as well in the data so your final data will look like this so if you will just run this cell You run this as well so your final data will look like this this is how your final data looks like so after that we'll simply convert this data into a numpy array so uh, using np dot array and you just pass the data and after that what we are going to do we are going to convert that data into a pandas data frame so in order to do that df1 is the variable name pd dot data frame so this data array transpose and columns all the columns we are uh, defining the name of all the columns for example first is the clustering coefficient so uh, uh, it has stored all the data sequentially as you have iterated clustering coefficient degree centrality and all so degree centrality closeness centrality betweenness eigenvalue page rank hubs authority and at the end we have appended two things first thing we have appended is the degree of nodes and after that club labels so finally your data after running this cell will look like this so your data will uh, finally after running this your data will look like this this is how your data is looking like so now you have converted your graph data uh, into these features and you uh, accumulated all these features together and converted into 
it into a data frame and now at the end what you have got you have got your labels as the club labels now there are two club labels one is mr high and another is official so what i want to do i want to convert it into a one hot encoded form uh, for one variable mr high will assign a zero and for the another one we will assign one so for that uh, just a very simple line of code will do the task so by this we will convert this categorical column into uh, this one hot encoded form and after that i'm converting all these data types of every column into float value and now you can check your final data set so final data frame looks like this clustering coefficient degree centrality closeness and all these features we have together along with the degree of nodes and these are the club labels so if you wanted to check the shape of data so there are 34 call, uh, rows and 10 columns so as originally in the graph, what we have, we had 34 nodes. So 34 rows are basically for all the nodes and 10 columns. Every node, for every node, we have calculated these 10 features. Uh, tenth feature is basically nothing but the class label. So basically, we will have nine nine features. These nine features and tenth one will be your labels. So after having this, what we are going to do now, we are going to import machine learning algorithms for doing the classification task. And in order to do the classification, uh, you all are aware about uh, this logistic regression and, and various other algorithms, machine learning algorithms also in order to do the classification. So I'm very simple. I'm using in this logistic regression. So it's up to you. If you wanted to explore other algorithms, you can explore as well. So using SQLearn library, we have to import some things first. For example, I'm uh, importing logistic regression and train, trust, train test split in order to split the data into train set and test set. And it, after, uh, after you know doing all these calculations, we have to check the model performance. So in order to check the performance, we are importing some things. For example, classification report, confusion matrix, and accuracy score. So after that, we are uh, segregating our data into X and Y. So basically, X is all uh, all the attributes of, or or you can say all the features of the data, and Y is basically your labels. Now we have our data segregated into two uh, X and Y. Now we can apply this train test split. So it will basically split your data into training set and test set. And the test size is 0.2. That means 20% of data will be used as the test. And again, random state is 42. You can put whatever you want in this place of random state. So I hope you know all these parameters, right? So after that, we will define the model. So logistic reg. Uh, this is the variable under which we are defining the model logistic regression and after that we will fit the model so this is a very uh, very simple machine learning algorithm this is how we fit the model x train and y train and in the next line this is how we do the pred predictions so this is our model dot predict x test we are passing the test data so it will produce your predicted y labels and after defining the model and fitting the data we will simply measure the model performance so in order to measure the model performance if you will print the classification report so it will basically give you all the things uh, like what is the f1 score what is the accuracy 56 57 percent accuracy we are getting so if you'll see we have uh, 33 34 nodes and we used nine features to do the classification and using this uh, by doing nothing uh, uh, like nothing extra just keeping all the things as constant and very simply using logistic regression we are able to achieve like 57 percent of accuracy so if you want you can plot confusion matrix and accuracy score as well so this is how you are going to get so if you wanted to check like this was the test uh, y test so these are the seven uh, columns of test data which were in the y test and these are the predictions so if you will see so this third prediction one is correct and last three zero one zero these are also correct 
So out of seven, four predictions are correct. That's why we are getting the accuracy as 57.14%. So this was very simple demonstration of, you know, applying machine learning algorithm into a graphical data. So moving forward in the next tutorial, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to explore like actual graph methods. Uh, we will be exploring graph embeddings, like we will be generating the embedding of the graph data. And based on those things, we will uh, apply those, uh, apply um, first machine learning algorithms. And after that, the graph neural network we will apply in order to do the classification, node classification or link prediction or the, or any task related to the graph machine learning. All right, so this was all about the second tutorial. Yeah, thank you.